All right, it's July 17th, 2023. My name is Timothy French. We're in Calabash, North Carolina to continue our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right here in front of P. Landon. Yeah, big little mercantile shop they got here in town right beside uh, this apparel, jewelry, and gifts, candies, home decor, and St. Nick's Knacks here in Calabash as well. Got a bike ride route that comes through town. If you go to the left, the fire department, the town hall's out there in the water tank and all that. And they got the pi purple pineapple in here and cal Calabash art store, it looks like. Some little knickknacks over there. A little beachwear place as well. And a beautiful flag. Some might get us, but we'll look at it. Some beautiful trees down through here. Calabash was named for the gourds that were in this area that they used, they hollowed out and used to dip uh, water out of the wells. That's kind of how it got its name and how it's known for uh, this Calabash style of seafood. A lot of people come up from Myrtle Beach, which is about 25 miles from here to eat in a lot of these restaurants. And uh, it's Monday right now and it's, there's cars here, so you can imagine what it's like on a weekend. And I think it's only about 3.30 right now. Well, let's walk down, I believe this is River Road, I think. No home into it. And go down to the water where the original there it was, I'm sure. Yeah. That's a big old market they got there. St. Nick, Nick Nack's Christmas shop, Halloween and Easter shops. So they do it all. <laughs> I guess they do Christmas, then Halloween and Easter comes around, they pop over and jump on that too. But you can see right now, it's all decorated for Christmas. Somebody going into the shop, all their parking lot's fairly full. Yeah, there you go. You can go in there and then go down to the Bounder House restaurant. It's Beck's restaurants. Well known. And they say they're old, they're the old original. With a big arrow saying this is it. Started in 1940. All right, let's go down. I think we're going to have to jump ahead because you ain't going to want to walk with me this whole way. I guess I could drive down there. Yeah, let's do that. That's, that's a little far for me to walk. It looks like this house is in between, so let's jump ahead. We're on down the road now, looking back from the direction we come at the Calabash Seafood Hut. And on the left there was a restaurant called Ella's. Pretty sure that was the name of it. And I'd heard it burn down, and as you can see, it did. <laughs> well, let's turn, going down to the waterfront here. Right past Tony's Pizza. And it says, we're hiring all positions, but uh, I don't know where they're going to work, because the building's missing. <laughs> the building is missing, because that's the paper dock beside it. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, looks like it was too far away from that other building to have caught fire at the same time. If it did, y'all let me know. Here at the Bagel Dock, they use 100% pure filtered water for all our food and drinks. And they're open seven days a week. Yeah, there's more restaurants down here. Got Captain John's Seafood House down that way. Got a big arrow pointing to it. I guess that's it over there. They got Blondie's Donuts over there. She closed today because it's a Monday. She sells coffee and ice cream, and they sell ice cream. No, I thought they sold ice cream, but I think that says cream cheese. So they're not competing, I don't guess. Yeah, got a little anchor that lights up. Looks like a Christmas design. Light pole's leaning a bit. They get some winds down here, so I reckon that's to be expected. To get closer, we've seen the oyster dock. That looks like a nice place to eat and they got a, another one down there i can't see the name it looks newer but it may have been here for a long time i don't know it looks like they're building a boat dock over there let's take this left side first and then we'll cut back and go down onto the pier you can see it's about four now i guess 334 or something like that i'm not sure people coming on in you'll hear people all say say it all the time at the all right, if you don't get there early, you have to wait in line for hours. <laughs> if I got to come in about three to eat, I'd just eat me a sandwich. <laughs> I like good food, but I don't like waiting in lines neither. <laughs> There's more cars coming in behind me. Yeah, that's going to be a big boat rack over there. Okay. So that might be the Captain John's. I think that's what that is right there. That looks nice. I don't think I can walk back there and cut across. So let's go on through the parking lot. Do a little jogging on my knee. It's feeling better today. Yeah, they got the signs directly everywhere. That says Hurricane Fleet Parking. So you can come down here and 
charter your boat and go out and fish, I reckon. And then got fresh ocean shrimp and fish right there at that little shop. There's people back there right now enjoying the deck out there looking at the water. Captain Nance's parking right here. This is Captain Nance's place. Hey, little, little seating place back here. Let's look at it. You hey, got the oyster shells. Got a little, little pit right there. As you can see, you can sit out there. What's going around? In front of Captain Nance's. And then they got the Calabash fishing fleet. Fishing and dolphin tours down here. If you're on vacation and want to do that. Got a little bit of seafood on the wall there. <laughs> the kids look like they've been playing baseball. Got a check in there. Lunch and dinner, waterfront, fresh seafood market on the dock. That's the dock side right there. We're parking up there in the woods. That's good. That's a cool little place. This, this is kind of places I like to visit. Fresh ocean, shrimp and fish, Calabash fishing fleet. Yeah, people in there, outdoor seating. That's a beautiful tree right there. Look at that. Yeah, cars are coming in. Waterfront seafood shacks. Got a good crowd. That's the kind of little businesses I like to to go into. Yeah, most of these businesses down here. I have heard are independently owned and I'm all about that so that's good I hope that's true there's a little pier they got their little ads everywhere there's captain chads just clean your fish there's people on the back of that book fishing right now I don't know if they're coming back I guess you can go on out here and see all these beautiful boats tied up on the Calabash River yeah, it's Calabash River and it goes on out that way and runs into the Little River and on out to the ocean. Just beautiful. I see a boat off in the distance coming back in. There's where you hook up with the, somebody right there to go out. Look at them houses on the other side. That's beautiful. Yeah, just a beautiful little town, little riverfront here. Yeah, that boat's cranking up. They must be going out. That's good. That's good. Navigator. Let's see if he's going back up. Maybe he's going to. I don't know. Is he still tied up? We won't wait too long. I don't know. Maybe they're going out. I ain't sure. Well, anyway. I think that's about it. If you're into fishing, if you're into eating seafood, Calabash, North Carolina is probably the place you want to come. Hope you enjoy this walk and talk tour of the town center near little riverfront here. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.